Hey, how you doing? I want to talk to you about WooCommerce emails. You know when someone buys something from your store, they'll get an email that looks a bit like this. I've changed the colour of it from a purple to a black, but this is the kind of email they get. Hey, thank you for buying this product, blah, 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 and that's it. And this might be fine for some people, but what if you've got a downloadable or a virtual product, or maybe for certain products you need to tell the buyer some useful information? So it might be that they've purchased a virtual product, but you want to give them a bit of extra bit of info. Here's a link you need to go to. Here's something you need to think about. Maybe they buy a particular product and this product product has particular bits of info, like a type of trainer. Please make sure X, Y, Z, you know, blah, 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 lots of different things. How can we do that? Because at the moment they get a standard email. And if you do modify this in WooCommerce, um, when you go to settings and emails, it will be the same email for every single product. There is a way you can customize it per product, and I'm going to show you that right now. Here's the plugin we're going to be looking at. It's called Woo Custom Emails Per Product. Don't worry about the warning there saying it's not been tested with your version of WordPress. Don't worry about that. This works. I know it works because I've used it on a few customer websites, okay? And it works totally, totally fine. Woo Custom Emails per product is free. Once you've installed this, okay, it will be available for you over here. And a new field will now appear in your website. So where you have WooCommerce, you'll now have a, uh, um, an area called Custom Emails. All you do is go into there. This is easy, this is, this is how simple and easy it is. You go into there and you will then create a custom email. A reminder, when you go to WooCommerce and you go to settings, you do have the facility over here to modify the emails. The trouble is with that is it's the same email for every single product. But that is why using this feature with custom emails, we're going to create one per product. And when you follow these steps, you're going to be so like amazed. OK, so this is what you do. We add a new message. So this message I'm going to call fake message, fake news, dummy message, whatever you want to call it. And this is where I will then put in my message. I could stick in an image. Um, you can't, short codes don't work here, so don't put in a template or a short code. I can put in images, text, um, links, whatever you want to put in. You can do, you can go galore with this, okay? Put whatever you want in here. Once you've done it, you then hit publish, right? Once you've published it, that is now available. So if you've got 10 products and you want to have a unique email message per product, you do 10 of these and make sure you name it accordingly so you know what you're doing. Now go into your products. So let's just go into a product and I'm going to pick uh, this product over here. We'll just pick this product. Okay, this is one of my clients websites, one of their courses they're selling. When you scroll down, there will now be um, a button or an area called custom email. So it automatically adds this into WooCommerce for you. You click custom emails for this product and then you decide when does that email appear. So they might get an email for on hold, maybe when it's being processed, maybe when it's been completed. And you might decide, well, I want this them to get this email when the order has completed. So the payment has gone through or maybe when they're processing. You could have a standard email that goes out maybe for everyone that's processing that says, don't worry, we're just processing the order and then we'll let you know when that's gone through. So you could do something like that. But let's say we now want that fake message to appear for the completed. If I type fake, it's now appeared. So make sure you name it accordingly. I will now pick fake message. That message will now appear. And this is where I now decide, do I want this to be before the order table? So it's kind of above all the order details after or after the customer details. So it's going to be right at the bottom. I would say before order detail or before order table makes a little bit more sense, right? You want the message to be in their face because most people don't really scroll down and read the rest. Oh, there's my address and name. You already know that, you know, that kind of thing. And then you just update. And I'm telling you now, if someone purchases an item or a product, a downloadable or a virtual product or whatever, when they get the email to say thank you for purchasing, that message will be there. It might be a link to a secret page or taking them somewhere else or bringing them to my YouTube channel. I don't know. But you can be a bit creative here. But that plugin, totally free, totally easy to do. So all you had to do, like I said, 
go into custom emails, create your email, then go into each product, assign it to where you want on the product and update. Job done. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and go forth and create unique emails for your products. Yes. <laughs> Take care.